Lyme disease is on the rise in Canada. Disease-carrying ticks have increased tenfold in the past 20 years, and reported cases have jumped 146 percent in the past five years. Symptoms are varied and debilitating, making the illness a challenge to diagnose. Tonight, we profile a young woman trying her best to raise awareness of Lyme. I used to play competitive fastball. Six years ago, Brittany's fastball team won gold at the national finals. She was 13 years old. And so I ended up getting the golden glove, which was the tournament MVP. But she felt very ill. When I was training for it and building up to it, I, um, I gained like 50 pounds, even though I was like pitching every day. She tried returning to school that fall, but couldn't think clearly. At times, she couldn't walk. It used to be at a point where she would have to like crawl up the stairs, couldn't use her legs, didn't run in and out of the emergency room, and couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. She was tested for Lyme disease, which is transmitted by ticks. It was negative. Doctors were stumped. They don't have a practical knowledge of it based on their training. And then the message they've been given is they're unlikely to see it. It was very hard. I had to be very much an advocate for her, and if a doctor couldn't help us, go to another one, find another one. Then finally, a diagnosis. That it was in my head, and I had to go to a psychologist here. In desperation, Brittany's family flew to California, where eventually Lyme disease was confirmed. Basically, the Lyme was like in my thyroid. It was in my, like, um, my whole endocrine system and in my muscles and in my bones. It will take years of monthly treatments in Los Angeles to clear her body of the disease. Their lives go on hold. They're unable to continue schooling. If they were athletic, they're unable to play sports any longer. And it's really unfair that that's happening because uh, if they get diagnosed when they get the disease, it's four weeks of antibiotics and you're clear. The journey begins tomorrow morning. Brittany helped kick off the ride for Lyme across Canada. She's created a website to raise awareness and money for this debilitating disease. That money is going to go towards getting better testing so that the blood test is better than it is right now. She's got the best spirit in the whole world. She just says, Mom, this is what it is and we're going to get through it. Learn more about Brittany's story and the ride for Lyme at the links tab on our website. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.